Welcome to the stream. Hi. We're gonna continue Wind Waker, my first playthrough of it. So, if you're watching this later, thanks for clicking. I might play this for a while tonight, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been enjoying it, so we'll see how we go. Continue the adventure of Link. Yes. Okay. So we just got this island. Do not attack the explosive fruit. Didn't say anything about accidentally uh, throwing it. I think I needed. <laughs> Hang on. There's a button to place it instead. There we go. I don't want them to roll down a hill. Oh, I miss. It's okay. What on earth? Look at that. Sidle. Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chief, then? I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our... Airy? It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Couldn't you give me, give me a lift? I'm not that heavy. I'm a child. Something down there, but we'll go check it out later. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, 
Did you notice the Raging Dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. So, oh, we do so by the graces of the sky spirit Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon's Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, a very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak, in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Here, Link. Take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. Delivery bag. Okay. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Okay. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Baloo to us. In the, mean in, mean in the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Well, now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Sure. Oh, excellent. That's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. It's really simple. Okay that clear? Sure. Ten letters. Um, okay. Damn, almost 20. 19 letters. Good. Great. Terrific. You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of nine rupees, am I right? Come back anytime. There's probably a heart piece involved. D-pad's easier. Twenty-eight. 
25. 25 lettuce, splendid, super. Hmm, your salary this time is one per one rupee per letter, so I need to pay 25 rupees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it again. 26 letters. You have amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupefied. Incredulous. We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money. Got to. Three rupees comes to 70. Hey, what? Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is? Isn't it? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you. Yes, I sure have. You've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad for making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice next time you come by. Link, be a pal and give our new helper some pointers next time you're around. Who's your new helper? Okay. Well, that was good. Money was acquired. Yep. <laughs> wow. You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're a Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, uh, what am I thinking? Yeah, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted father's letter. This is a letter addressed from a father to a son. Since you're, you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag from the item screen and set the letter to Y. Okay. Well, any. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go a couple steps down to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manners. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, hmm, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? Let's explain everything then. Okay. Uh, and register it to R. Okay. Guessing this is his room. He's playing with a shiny ball. Mm. A letter from my father. <laughs> oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say you can calm Baloo down? Psh! 
That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all of the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Guess we're gonna go meet up. I mean, I would imagine it would be through here. Hopefully. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. Yeah, no kidding. Guess it's not here. I'll try different doors. Every year, the Rito sponsor a Birdman contest on that island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year. What with the current situation on the island? No time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the Great Valu that we're running short of delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Well, back to work. We used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. I'm positive the strange winds are a result of the wind god's anger. See, there's an important shrine below here that got broken, and now we're paying the price. What cursed luck. Below here, you say? No, but see, that was the entrance. It can't be that. this dude was doing in there. <laughs> oh, this is the helper. Hey, man, I'm the new part-timer. Green clothes and a green hat? Pardon me for asking, but you're Link, aren't you? Yeah. Aha, I knew it. You're a legend among the part-timers here. I really admire you, man. Just once, I'd love to see the legendary 25 letter sort. Do your best, man. Do my best. It's completely up to RNG, though. Twenty six. All right, cool. Oh my gosh, 26 letters. Amazing, man. I'm so impressed. Seriously, man. I've got to tell my mom back home all about this. I just gotta. I've got a favor to ask of you, man. I'm still new here, so I'm not allowed to leave. So would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? Thanks a lot, man. It's so sad you could almost cry. <laughs> okay. I guess... I could just throw it in here with all the other le letters, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. Okay. Uh, the letterbox is outside, so I'll just go. Okay, hang on. Find it there, and just go back outside. May as well do it now. Oh, no, okay. I will keep that in mind. But that's not the door, the door I wanted to go through. Oh. 
chunk. <laughs> this post box is near the mail center on Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Oh, oh, I see. Sticks me with the bill. All right. The parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. Excuse me. Is that a beetle? Oh, the boat's gone. I'm not going to get there in time. <laughs> meant to talk. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me. How is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that the Prince... That Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Oh, thanks so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Man, Link, Link is strong. Oh, there. I see. Oops. I'm fine. <laughs> that didn't really hurt. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Once more. With the wind. Toss away, please. What? Don't throw it at, don't throw it at the wall, right? Oh, I see. I guess I have to go from up here. <laughs> How do I know the wind? Oh, I see. That's the way the wind is. Not that way. Not that way. Now. There it is. Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Baloo. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Oh, cool. Alright, we've got a bottle now. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. 
It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Okay. I'm going to take a wild guess here. <laughs> Just the fact that I heard that. Aha! And then... I didn't even have to get told to do this. I mean, you look at the amount of water that is. I mean, would a rock be able to hold that much down? I don't know. It's like basically a whole lake. Hmm. Hello, Lucasson. It was a pretty big rock. I uh, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. We don't have natural lakes here in Australia, so my knowledge is only of dams and not boulders. Plenty of beaches, no real lakes. They're all man-made. Really? Yeah, but I feel like this is just vandalism. Oh, come on! <laughs> that miss. What? <laughs> am I going crazy or am I getting old that my depth perception is just wrong? Further back. There we go. It's okay. It's okay, I got it. I'm not- I'm not a sports person, so... Had I played basketball properly as a kid, I'm sure I would've gotten that first try. Okay, so why did it show me this? Oh, I see. Yeah, how's your uh, day going so far? Oh. Okay. And what shield? That shield. Okay, got it. Yep. Just woke up so tired. <laughs> what time did you go to sleep? Because I, I remember before you ended the stream, you were talking about, like, oh, that you hoped that you didn't go to sleep too late. I mean, what's the usual bedtime? No, I was pretty tired this morning. I had to get up earlier than usual. 
Six hours of sleep isn't enough. It depends how much deep sleep it is. If you get into deep sleep pretty quickly, then yeah. But if you don't, no, it's not. I love my sleep, so... For me, six is like a minimum. But I am a night owl, so... Okay. Oh, the steam hurts. Why should I be surprised at that? What is this? What the... Well, you can't move it. Weird. I mean, obviously I need fire, but... Oh, I see. Maybe it involves this. No, 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 no. Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe... This... <laughs> I'm sure this isn't how it works. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Duh. I tried pushing it, but there's no button to push it. You can go in it for some reason, and then it shoots you like a cannonball. I'll leave it for now. Probably be the dungeon's mechanic. just stands there so precariously. I know. There's going to be something to that thing, it's just we can't use it yet. The first, uh, tutorial dungeon took me over an hour, so I'm gonna try and hope to beat it. <laughs> that was really bad. But I'm not gonna let that happen this time. I'm going to do well in this dungeon. Even though I have never played this game before, my inner child was still screaming at me because it's a Zelda game and I couldn't figure out the dungeon quick enough. Oh no, oh, oh no. Okay, we gotta go quickly. But I mean, wouldn't... Wouldn't any water in here evaporate? Like, if there's magma, surely. I've never been near a volcano, but I don't know. Australia's hot, but not this hot. <laughs> Magic. Magic water. Maybe it's not magma at all. Like, if a child can fall into it and just... Okay. Red chew jelly. Keep it in spoils bag. This gelatinous goo comes from deep within red choo-choos. 
it is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. All right, I need to go to that shop. The one that sells juice and just the sign up front looks like a person just in agony after drinking. Oh. Uh-oh. Can I do that again? It was one of those medallion things, but it's gone. It didn't drop it this time. Ah. I wonder if those things are just random finds or if they're in set locations, like collectibles. Drop it. I mean, how strong is this kid? To be able to pick up a sword the size of his body and then some. I was not this strong as a child. Oh, okay. Uh, can I throw a rock at the bomb? No. <laughs> I thought, hmm, maybe it's volatile. Yeah. Well, this pronounced the W in sword. But how did I say it? Sword? I didn't say sword, did I? I said sword. Sword? S sword? <laughs> how how would you say it? S yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. That worked. Maybe I pronounce it. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly an example of the most Australian accent. It sounded like saw sword, like sword, sword. I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it did. If you want to know how to say something in Australian, just say rise up lights, but quickly, and then you'll be speaking like an Australian. I wonder, what, yeah, there it is. I guess it's a random drop. Hmm. Okay. Yes. I'm not- I'm not sure if it works for Europeans, but I know it works for Americans. But if you say it quickly enough, you'll be speaking Australian. When said quick enough, Americans realize that they're saying razor blades. Rise up lights. Rise up lights! Rise up lights! See? That's just how we say it. Rise a blade. Oh. 
gotta collect them. That lady wanted 20 of them. What's that sound it's making? They are pretty cute, understandable. Yeah. Oh no, I, don't. <laughs> I did not think that through. I'm cutting the rope to the bridge. Uh oh. That's fine. I'm, I'm sure I can go back across this bridge safely. This isn't a one-way trip. Oh, jeez! Didn't even notice that. Okay, hang on, I gotta wait. It's gonna happen again. See, it can't be lava, because this ladder is quite clearly made out of wood. This thing looks like a Pokemon. Oh no. I love the facial expression he makes when he's doing this. Don't roll into the wall. <laughs> Sidle! There you go. Wait, what? That doesn't work. Uh... Oh, I see. Again, like, the upper body strength this child has. Must be... Just nothing but muscle. <laughs> Hello, is it Twitch yet? I don't know what the sound of that thing is, but... I don't like it. It sounds like a goat. How many hours am I? Uh... This is the first real island. But I'm two hours into it. I don't think I'm two hours of gameplay into it, as... I overcomplicated the first dungeon. And, uh, probably took twice as long as I should have. So this is my redemption arc right here. But it is, it is pretty much the start of the game. Hey. Have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share the store of their treasure with you. Why don't you try it? What do you mean, spread bait near their nest? No, I'm just going to murder them. Imagine that. Rats that want to steal. Don't kill them. You should have seen what they did to me in the previous dungeon. I was hidden inside a barrel on a stealth mission, and then they just knock the barrel off me. And get me thrown in jail. I can't climb with this. Can I throw it? Oh, I might be able to throw it. Hang on. Hmm. Wait, that doesn't make sense. So I, I can't climb a ladder with it. 
but I'm allowed to do this. Oh. Let me try this again. <laughs> I'm not sure that was the way I was supposed to do it, but it worked. It was probably a much easier way to do this. They're trying to steal my money as well. I haven't opened this chest yet. Because I kind of assumed this would be something minor. I'm going to laugh if it's like a bow and I could have just shot an arrow. Okay, good. It's just a compass. It's okay. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing that major. So wait. Bait near their nest. What do you mean? Like this? Okay, no. I don't know what it means by bait. I don't really have... maybe this? Maybe the jelly can be used as bait. Nope. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. Or maybe it, it refers to me being the bait. Like, not literal bait. Oh. What's that sidle? What? There's a sidle spot? Where? Or do you mean back in there with the nest? Uh, it does that when you get to a wall. When you hug a wall, it, it gives you the option to do that. So I assume that's all it was. Before this game, I had never heard that word, so... It's new to me as well. Sidle. I feel like this is going well. <laughs> I haven't hit a brick wall. <laughs> You're about to shout at me to pick up the rupee. I was gonna pick it up, come on. have to get it. Inner child demands it. Oh. I know, I see the chest, I just want to do this first. Assuming this isn't timed. Another one. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Ah! I think this jar mu must just be a fast travel jar. <laughs> nice work. Go away. Got it. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Oh, so this is like Mario. <laughs> how does how does that even work though? I have so many questions. It's not like it's a it's it's a pipe. It's a jar in 
two different rooms. This is like one of these things where the game is set in a time period in the past, but yet somehow they have technology of the future. Climb in. <laughs> Magic, I suppose. All these priceless artifacts, Link just walks in and is like, Sit! Free- oh, hello. I do find it funny that this game tries to teach you there are consequences to smashing pots. At least the weapons don't break. Yeah. But you get used to that. Yep. It's probably just the map. Chart. Okay. Alright, so I gotta sail to that area. Maybe that's what that thing in the ocean was yesterday. That I probably should have gotten. It's okay. Uh, Alright, now what? Stop! Oh. It was a game of hide and seek. I had to, uh, find them. Okay. More magical water. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whoa, physics. I was a little impatient about that. Okay, maybe I should deal with that thing first. I'm kind of making my life harder this way. Hurry up! Don't know. Hurry up! <laughs> okay, it's fine. It lasted long enough. I'm, I'm lucky that worked out for me, to be honest. That <laughs> should not have worked. Ah, yes, the classic magic jar hidden inside the boulder. Hmm, 
interesting. Oh, there's the dragon. He seems to be angry about something. you out. Ooh, okay. Another one. Oh, come on. Did I break his stuff? He was already angry when I got to the island, so I didn't do anything. I mean, maybe I didn't make things better by breaking this stuff, but <laughs> I didn't start it by any means. Wait, I can pick this up. Yo! Oh, no! I wanted to use it! <laughs> oh, what is... That's an ominous looking orb. Oh. <laughs> the first instinct is just to break it. This rather off putting accessory would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person, it is apparently of great worth. Okay. Yeah, my spear now. Apparently I can't talk to her. Maybe the rats would like it, maybe. Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Baloo's tail. That's why he's so angry. The Great Baloo's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now before it's too late. I'll go tell everyone what's happening. Here, Link. Use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Really? Already? <laughs> really? The grappling hook the grappling hook usually is something you get in the later dungeons. I mean, alright, cool. Okay. I'm gonna find that to why. So wait, can I just Sorry, <laughs> can't help myself whenever I hear someone say hey in a Zelda game. Oh, so, okay, it's more like a, a swing than the classic grappling hook. It's cool, though. Oh, there. Oh, well. <laughs> really? It has to be that spot specifically.
<laughs> what on earth? <laughs> is, is that my fault? No. I haven't touched this bridge. That's just, uh, yeah, me. What? That one looked like it was in pain and wasn't really hurting anyone. Just decided to murder it. Um, so what, do I just purposely... I worry that this is actually a collectible. Where am I? I don't recognize this. Uh oh. No! <laughs> I missed one. Oh no. How did that miss? Okay, it's all right. The the rope uh, magically grew back. How convenient. I think it, I think I have to wait. Once it settles, then do it. There we go. It's okay. Oh, this is just an elevator. Hey, cat. Oh, yes! Fall into the lava as you miss the rope. What's that? Don't follow the indicator? Bah! Overcomplication, yes! Okay. Uh... Oh, right, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just behind me. Um, but... Okay, but... There we go. <laughs> it's okay. You've been rewatching Stardew on YouTube on F5 now. Oh, all of it? That's well, like, uh... The point in time where there wasn't any heartbreak yet, and I was so optimistic that I was gonna get the bundles done in the first year. Did you see the part where I caught a sunfish? And it was the very first fish I caught? I love that part. It's quite a lot and it's funny in hindsight. Oh no, it's hilarious, like, once I'm done with that video, like, it's gonna be funny. What are you? Nope, that doesn't help. Oh, no, okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. I mean, the last time I got it, I threw water at it, but there's no water in this room. Okay, so what, what do we actually have in this room that can help? What 
Let's look around. <laughs> Spit on him. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, I got it. I just need a white. Where's, where's the window? How was it? I forgot how parry works. Ah, there it is. Oh no, Link's facial expressions in this game are hilarious. Like, check this out. Right. Where's the option? They're pretty good. Isn't it the one where Zelda's his sister? I haven't played this one before, so I'm not sure. Probably. Oh, there's another one. Why? Ah! Another? Maybe this has nothing to do with this. They seem to just keep coming back. What if I have to bait him onto the bottom? Weird. There has to be a reason for this. You can't aim lower, you can only aim higher, so I don't think... Hmm... Maybe I'm here too early. I'm kinda stumped. This is going to be a simple solution, I'm gonna hate it. Like, what if I just have to bait it? Come here. Seems... No, okay, it doesn't, doesn't press the button. Then I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything on the ceiling. Can 
Ah. I'm just gonna leave. I'll be back. There is one other thing I can try. Oh, wait, but I don't have water. Hmm. Okay, I'm leaving. There has to be an easy answer to this. There's no way it's that convoluted. According to this map, there's a chest I haven't gotten. You can't see it, but it's on my lower screen. So through this door... Oh. Wait, there's a ladder over here. This just leads back up here. Can't take that through the door. I thought maybe that might be the answer, like you might be able to bring this with you. Maybe there's more I can do with this. There's no way I'm making that jump. That's too long a jump. I mean, I could try, but... Nope! <laughs> yeah, kind of figured. Hmm... It's too long of a jump as well. <laughs> so much for doing this dungeon quickly. This is just going back there, and I, I still don't know what to do with that room. Okay, come on. The answer has to be in here. explanation to this would be pushing a block. But I don't see a block anywhere. It's 
There's gotta be something else I can do to this thing. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Is this it? This is it. Ah! Wait! No, 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 this has to be it. Come on. There's no way this is not it. There we go. Ah! Okay. We're good. Whoa, 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 where did you come from? We weren't here before. Go too late. What? That's what happened. It hits the... He hits the bottom part of it. And it pushes you back soon. That's what happened. I think I just need to do it in one before his feet hit it on the second one. Or maybe I just need to be more patient. What? Why are you doing... Why is it? <sighs> I've got to be overcomplicating it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I guess I have to backtrack. Do this too early. Uh, okay, I think this is correct. Wait, apparently, there's two chests here that I haven't gotten. According to this? Hang on.
Health, please. No? Okay. Knight's Crest, okay. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest. Okay, probably I have to go hand it off to people. I wonder if this has a trading quest like the previous Zelda games. That might be what it's for. Anyway. <laughs> Free money. I made up all the money I lost from breaking that dude's property, so that's fine. I'm not expecting, uh, whatever this thing is. Okay, let's just watch it for a little bit. Nope, that's, uh, it's a firing up, it's... Okay, that's, that's not good. So let's see if this follows the rules of modern Zelda, where I have to use the hook to win. What? No, I think it is, I think it is, I just have to be better. Already doing a special animation for it, so that's- it's clear that this is how I have to win. Oh, this is like... Okay, unless I'm misinterpreting it, but this seems like the classic... ...boss from Zelda 1 where you have to shoot it in the eye. A mighty enemy stands before you. In the face of such danger, however, it would be wise to change your perspective and see what's around you. It is important to get a firm grasp of your surroundings and see what you can use to swing. Okay. Well. No, don't crawl, you idiot! Hold the shield! What do I have around me? It looks like there's high ground. Oh, this is not helping. Hey, Seth, what's up? Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> okay, okay. What? But, okay, I guess that's the answer. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but sure. And then, I guess, hit it in the eye once it's vulnerable. Or just jump into the lava like an idiot. That also works.
looks like its carapace is cracking. But now do I just do the same thing? Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Uh-oh. Wait, did I hear that? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's what I think it is. Was this thing pulling on the tail of the thing above it? And that was the whole thing, was the tail was big getting annoyed. This still took less time than the first dungeon. I really messed up that first tutorial dungeon, I really did. This wasn't even an hour. How goes things? This guy's alright. Just staying indoors, remaining cool. It was hot outside. But yeah, just enjoying this so far. It's the first time I've played it. There's probably more to do in this town. Link! Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Link? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. Oh, it's Din's Pearl. This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. The Great Valu is grateful to you, Link. I wouldn't even begin to know how I would read that. Use the Wind God's Wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's wind. I wonder if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Valu also has... Wait, also names you Link a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go visit Valu. Come see me. I'll come see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali. Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. I'm gonna look around more because... This town didn't have a heart piece and that bothers me. Oh, it's Beetle. But that is some unsettling <laughs> heart on this ship. Like, okay, look, look at this up here. wonder if I can reach it. Nah. I guess I would need a, a bow. Yeah. 
There's a treasure chest up there, you can see it. Like... Oh, can't see it from here. It's fine. <laughs> Didn't slam into the wall. Wait, so where do I go from here? Uh... No, see, look. Looks like it goes even higher, but... Let me go have a look around. I delivered that dude's letter, so let's just see where that ends up. Sorry I haven't been around. New job means a lot less free time. Oh, no, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Plus time zones, you know, it's not easy. As I imagine, the only crossover would be in the morning for you, which, yeah, with the new job. What's up, man? My co-workers let me in on your little secret, man. All letters addressed to you are specifically delivered to the post box closest to you, no matter what island you happen to be on. That's so cool, man. I heard all about the work you did here. You've really been through some rough times, man. Where'd it go? Ow. But... Hello there, Link. Are you holding up all right throughout your travels? Not too weary? So, do you want to give it a go? Sure. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I've, I've messed up. Finger slipped. I wonder if you just keep spamming if you could get a high score anyway. I messed up badly. No, 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 no. I'm doing it again. Got 25. Wait. Oh, I have to get more than 25? Okay, I have to get more than 25. Kind of at the mercy of RNG here. Still 25. Ugh, just have to be a little bit quicker. <laughs> okay, one more try. Gonna skate. All right, Liquid. So no worries. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for popping in. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's some solid RNG.
27! Oh. Give me a heart piece. <laughs> There's no heart piece here. I want to see if there's anything here. Yeah, maybe there is no heart piece here. Before I go, I'll just talk to everyone. Ah, Link. I hope I would get the chance to thank you in person. Medley told me everything. I'm extremely grateful for all that you've done. It seems you've helped my son Kamali find his courage as well. You have done so much for us. I thank you. Tell us if there's anything the Rito can do for you. Anything at all. I believe your journey is far from over, but no matter where you may go, we can still reach you. As you travel from island to island, be sure to check the local post box. We shall be sure to deliver you any letters or packages addressed to you to the post box nearest to you. Keep your eyes peeled for the moving post boxes, for the mail they have within them. I trust that is clear. Maybe I should check the post box. Yeah, I mean, the Rito in this game are a bit different from what Confirmy was saying, that humanoid for some reason. Like, they're humans that evolved wings as opposed to just being birds. So... I'm not sure how that falls into place. Rather excited for Tears of the Kingdom and me. Same. This is why I'm playing through all these games. We've got a few more to go. Hang on, there's something down there. But that's the, where they wanted me to go anyway. Uh, I think I... <laughs> I don't know how many games I have left, but I have a few. But I should be able to get through them. There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. Oh boy, it's the rhythm portion of this game. Hang on, hang on, hang on, what is it? It's up, left, right. I hate this. Why didn't it work? Up, left, right. Oh no, but there's a second one that's kind of... Wait, okay. Just didn't register. No. Oh, come on. I... <laughs> I hate this so much. After the grief that... I got in the Game Boy game with rhythm stuff. I can't believe I'm having to do rhythm things again. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. <laughs> the name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So, you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives control over the direction of uh, the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. Now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, Chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> just... I don't know. The, the, uh... Do I need to memorize this? Up, left, right. Okay. Up, left, right. 
um, the tone of this game is very different to other ones. It seems more, I mean, understandably cartoony, but like, there's been parts of this that just feels like I'm watching a morning cartoon show, which I'm all for. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place, but that would mean there's no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Hop in. How do you hop in? Yeah, but like... Boat? Oh, we... Okay. So, I must... Make it go south, it's like... <laughs> Hello, Conto Buffalo. Thanks for the lo luck! Okay, and then the... S Wait, how do I do... Oh, there, there, there. South. Let me in. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Hoi! Hold it right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on that C chart you got there. But it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your C chart and make it snappy. Okay. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here dragon roost island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling generous, I'll send word to all my brethren near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it to spread and spread bait out on the water surface. Trust me, this is good advice. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island along with any info that might be useful to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn sea chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now, don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Hoi, you the... You kingly red lion guy, that's it. I've repaid my debt, I'm done. You take care of the rest. Uh... Okay, hang on. It's on the lower screen. Interesting. No, I didn't want to get off. Get on. They said to the reverse of this island, so just let me... Let me see. Since I'm here... Admittedly, I'm going against the wind, but it's okay. We'll get that. We don't have wings, but we have a hook shot, so maybe that's enough to get there. I think it means this beach over here. I can see a treasure chest already. Oh, 
Oh, that's it. Hold on, let me let me check out Beetle's shop since it's here. Stop. Okay, we've blocked you in. Hey, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, a customer, welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. If you have anything you don't need, if you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Bait bag. Yes, we definitely want that. So this is how you throw a bait. Okay. Cool. You're the greatest, I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you, I'll have you know. Now, you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, just, yeah, okay. Yes. Thank you! But see now... Thank you! <laughs> I, I kind of want to go see the rats. In the dungeon. Thank you! What's this? Hyoi pear. You can't buy this anywhere else. Only here, I'm serious. Now's your chance. Buy, buy, buy. I will buy the ominous pair. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. What? <laughs> when controlling seagulls, tap to flap your wings and accelerate. Oh. Maybe this is what they mean by, uh... By growing wings. Yeah, look, I don't trust myself to do this correctly the first time around. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> okay, so let's find some seagulls. So the... Oh, here we go. Okay, so... Uh, items... The bait bag, and then put this here. Wait, no, here. Put this here. Okay. Oh, wow, no kidding. Can I just... Kamikaze the seagull into the... Oh, what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> did it work? Oh, no. Okay. I'm... Why didn't that work? See, this is why I got multiple. This is why I got multiple. Because I knew, I knew something like that would happen the first time. So I need to keep the seagull alive. Okay. There you go. What else have we got? Does this just time out? There's a block there. Oh, ZR to go back. That's fine. This is kind of fun. Okay, there's a cave here.
Leave the seagull alone. <laughs> I didn't think. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> okay. Well, look, at the very least. I wonder how you get in there. Okay, I mean, sure, I, I consider that worth it. There's no real indicator of how to get in there, though, so... I think all this is here for is just... You can't get a high enough swing. I think all this is here for is just so you don't have to do the sidal thing. Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. I don't have anything for delivery, I just wanted to check the mailbox. Okay, because I'm curious... It's probably nothing, but it bothers me that I haven't found a heart piece here. Okay, so hang on. There has to be something that I can get to now, because there seems to be like a side exit. I just have to find where that is. I can't use hookshot in here, so it wouldn't be that. Let me try going out here. Doesn't appear to be anything different out here. Alright, but either way. There were the rats in the dungeon that it gave me that hint about giving them bait. Oh, this is all dried up now. Yep. It was one of the first rooms, so it shouldn't take long to get to it. Bye. Probably not here, but I'll... This is going to be 100% off memory. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It worked out. It worked out. Golden feather, keep it in your spoils bag. Oh. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Wing girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Don't say. <laughs> Come here. Ha <laughs> 
That's great. Just harassing this poor bird. I may have gone too far, but we'll see. Oh, here it is. Yep, this is perfect. All right, so R. Yeah. Drag it there. Drop the bait. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell to you for real. What'll it be for ya? Oh! Um... Blue potion. I mean... That's cool. <laughs> Whatever the next dungeon's gonna be, I'm gonna have this on me. Alright, it wasn't something special, but... At the very least, it's useful. It just would it would have bothered me immensely if I didn't go and check it out. At the very least, good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. The only thing I haven't figured out is that upper path. I might possess another seagull and see if I can find the way up there. But other than that, uh, we're good. I didn't really see a way in. Yep. Ah. Okay. I'll, I will definitely have to bu buy more of this bait, though. Okay, let's see if we can... That's clearly an exit, so where's the entry? Oh, something just occurred to me. I wonder if this works. Maybe I don't even have to swing up here. Like, maybe this is just a case of... Ah! Okay. Okay. So there's a swing spot here. Hang on, there's a ladder. There's a swing spot. Okay, we, we might be onto something. I just want to see where things lead to. Okay, can't go that way. Right, so in the upper level, there is a spot I can swing. Which will get me to over here. Um, what? Hey, 
Watching me gives the nostalgia you always wanted. Your older brother never let you watch because you always cheat or give away cheats. Wait. <sighs> oh no, bad! <laughs> but like, is the definition of cheating here just stuff that exists in the game that you don't want to know about? Like, it's not really a cheat. Leave me alone! Ah! I want to. All right, you know what? I, I got a piece of information. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Yep. To this day, they refuse to admit you were just more visual. Yeah, I was never like that with any of my younger siblings. I grew up with three younger brothers, and I had a bunch of younger cousins, and yeah. All of them watched me play stuff, so... I don't know. This is the one that I never got to play because I didn't have a GameCube, but... Besides from that, I have played most of them. So it's nice to finally get to play it. But yeah, thank you for the follow. I still can't get over that. Cheats. Oh, you mean like common sense and the solution? That's what you refer to as cheating? If that's cheating, then I don't want to know what uh, doing things the legit way is. Luckily, you was you were what you were the cheat to help them realize how to complete the game. That must have been a good feeling. I had a similar feeling um, with a link to the past. I so I never owned that game as a kid. My cousin owned it, older cousin. And for a while, he was always bragging about dungeons that I couldn't figure out, and he had figured out. And eventually, I did catch up, but. One thing that I figured out that he didn't, and I never told him, because, you know, it just kept poking fun. He never figured out how to get the last sword, and I did. And I still hold that memory very dear to me. Okay. <laughs> they didn't like that you knew more than you should off simple NPCs. Play MMOs like WoW and they play s similar music, like music similar to the longest Kevin says day. Nice. Yeah. I mean... That's fine. I'm trying to think if I, like, I ever got annoyed at my younger cousins for figuring something out, but I don't think I did. Or my brothers. Doesn't look like there's anything up here, like, the only purpose really was to swing off this one, but that's just, why would I do that? Huh? You read a lot and your friends today tell you to shut up because you already know the next expansion for, wait, X-Pack? Is that expansion? I don't play World of Warcraft, I kinda missed the boat on that one. I was studying at the time. <laughs> I was I was interested in it, but then I thought, no, that will probably not be good for me. And I saw what it did to people. I remember in certain classes, people would be falling asleep because they were up the night before playing.
You're one of the few nerds who farm rep for law, and the law tells you. Heartbreaks in the future. Ah, a law nerd. Okay. I can't listen to law myself, but I appreciate people that do research it, and I can listen to people geeking out on law. I just can't read law for myself. I don't know how that works. I guess because I'm not the one reading it, someone else is telling me, like, not really an abridged version, but definitely more summarized. Okay, for the life of me, I, I can't figure out how to get over there. It's that bird. Maybe I should just go over there with a the boat and see if there's anything. important to read law because they do actually reveal stuff it's just a lot of people don't read it <laughs> myself included but youtube's good these days you can watch people summarize the stuff I got into Elden Ring's lore recently, and that was cool. Having someone explain how that world works. There doesn't appear to be a way in here. Okay, hang on. What is that sound? Also, hey, Laura. Thank you. I'll buy a few because I, I don't trust myself. Bye. No, no, no. I want I want to buy the rest of them, please. Thank you. You'll be asleep in five minutes. Oh. Right, it's like past 8 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Surely that's enough. Yep. Okay, I want to see where this goes. Had a rough week? Oh no. Sorry to hear that. How am I liking Wind Waker? It's a lot of fun. I am enjoying it. If I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be playing it, but yeah. I'm liking the cartoony vibes to it. I finished the dungeon in under an hour. Are you proud of me compared to the tutorial dungeon? That I admittedly messed up. Leave me alone, bird. I just I just want to explore. I am an agent of peace. I just want to explore the ocean. The roost dungeon is linear. I mean, isn't the first dungeon linear? Or, I guess, tutorial thing. Oh, this thing is relentless. It won't let up. <laughs> the worst part is... I can't go any quicker. Um, 
Okay, so... I haven't really seen a way in. Uh... Huh. Alright, one more time, but otherwise I think I'm, I'm gonna continue to the South Island. I imagine there's gonna be backtracking in this. You modded a Japanese 3DS and it's much harder than expected. What, what are you doing to your 3DS? What's the difference between those and the standard ones? You're selling it to a dude. Yeah, but what are you doing to it? <laughs> okay, now we can see this cave. What is in here? There's just a chest in here, though. Removing the region lock. Oh, you're just doing a... Right, okay. I thought you were doing a hardware mod or something, but you're doing a software mod. That makes sense. I still haven't worked out how to get. I think I might leave it for now. It doesn't look like I can get in there easily. Fly, little seagull. Maybe it's a separate thing, like a hook shot. I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's just go. Wait, Japanese 3DSs get really bad yellowing of screens. Looks like someone was trying to bake the screens. Huh. I wonder if it's like similar to the, the plastic effect. That does happen with electronics. Like some of them, they... Based on the chemical reaction, the plastic will turn a weird yellow color. Maybe? I don't know. Right, let's head out. <laughs> oh, what is that? Fire Island. I love how I just decide to get near it. Even though it is very dangerous. Alright, we're on course. I can just relax now. Wait, what was that? Can I jump? No, I think that was just a wave. <laughs> I put the, the... Oh no, you can jump. What? I put the gamepad down. What possible use could this have? Been cool. Oh no, tornado. Ooh, the music got all ominous. What is this thing? 
No, 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 stop, 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 stop. To the right, to the right. What's this? I think I need to be on the boat. I need a target to talk. Wow, this background looks nice. How do, how do I talk to them? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. There we go. Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha 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 ha! You won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, Bob. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, Bob. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Hey, Bob, I'll tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nah. Just grab it. That's a treasure tower. Okay. I haven't done any of these, so... Compare the island charts right with the treasure charts to see where treasure lies. I mean, I'll... maybe later. <laughs> I'm kind of keen to get to the next island. What's this? There's something here. Weird. seem to be anything I can do here. Okay. Can I mark stuff on the map? No. Doesn't look like it. I just figured maybe I could mark it for later, but guess not. Alright, onwards. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the music? I'm holding the analog stick, so kind of does like the cinematic thing. Oh, what is this? I mean, I thought maybe there'd be bomb flowers on this island or something, but doesn't appear like there's anything. Well, that I can do right now. That doesn't work. But I guess 
keep it in mind. Oh, hello. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much. I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness towards my son. Kashiko, Beto's mother. Oh, cool. Alright, so there was a heart piece on the island. It was the letter thing, so... By delivering the letter. Excellent. What? <laughs> what is this? Alright. Apparently not allowed. This is before Phantom Hourglass. Uh, as in... Law-wise, I have no idea. Release date-wise, yes. I think Phantom Hourglass is the sequel to this from memory. Slow down. How do I know which spot it is? It stopped glowing when I got near to it. Okay, hang on. That's got to be directly on top of it. Hey, there we go. Nintendo pretty much said F you to death, kids. Not even rumble. Uh, I suppose GameCube, probably no rumble. But the gamepad did rumble. I don't know, I felt it rumble here. Oh, I'm GameCube, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know about GameCube. Hey. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That's where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku tree. You must speak with the great Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Feroar's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Okay. Now, I'm not done, I do want to keep playing it, but we will take a small intermission as I want to get myself more beverage. So, plus it's been a couple of hours, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, this is where the VOD ends for you, but it'll continue next time. So, thanks for watching YouTube, bye YouTube!